Shamai, I have finally had a minute to sit down for a little chat and Rachel's Rambles number 13. So I'm going to have a little chat about practising your ukuleles. Um, but first of all, Rachel's Rambles number 13, what's been happening and what's going to be happening very soon. So it's been a crazy first few weeks back in school. It always is after the summer holidays. You know, new timetables, new classes, getting work organised. We even had our school fun run at the end of last week and I managed to get the drone up in the air for that. And that's always a great way to start the term. Later on, apart from Christmas, we're actually doing um, our first school musical production for a good few years because of COVID and things. And we're doing Nativity, the musical, not the baby Jesus story um, based on the film Nativity. Uh, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. But there's going to be a lot of work involved. I'm actually the musical director, so I'll be waving my baton um, and conducting the children on stage and the band. So if I disappear for a little while, sort of during November, you know where I am. I'm doing the school show. It was a brilliant summer holiday. Um, trips to Southern Ukulele store with Jude and a few new ukes, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, trip to the Eisteddfod, lots and lots of playing, lots and lots of ukulele fun. Didn't get to as many festivals as I was hoping to, um, but they are certainly lined up for next year now. Even got my ukulele Wales tattoo. And if you haven't seen it, go and check out the video. It was a bit painful, but it's all healed now and it looks awesome. I did just mention new ukuleles. I've got the Timber by Magic Fluke, um, my lovely fretless. Um, I will be doing a review on that very, very soon. I have been playing it a little bit um, and I know lots of you are looking forward to that. But I bought that in Southern Uke Shop on the trip up there and I also bought a couple more ukuleles. I've wanted one of these for quite a while. It is the Enya Nova U Pro, the tenor in this gorgeous purple. Um, so I will do a review of this, but I'll also do a comparison of this with the concert that I had last year. Little spoiler, this is lush. And there's a little extra bonus. I got this little Carla bamboo soprano ukulele. I don't know, there was something just about it, apart from the light color and sustainable wood, I really liked the headstock with uh, the slotted headstock with the tuners, the black tuners on this. It's just really nice, cute, yet chunky little ukulele. So if you want me to do a review on this one as well, let me know in the comments. So those are my two new beauties and the Timber Fretless bass, which is upstairs at the minute, but a review coming very soon. And talking of new gear. Okay, the Ukumaniacs, we got the t-shirt, so it's definitely happening. Uh, we did a gig last night, it's Sunday today, so on Saturday night, a wedding gig, which had been booked ages and ages ago, and Cool Hand Ukes were originally going to go and play for it, but it, they needed a much smaller number. The venue wasn't very big. Well, cut a very, very long story short, um, as a group, we really did need to sort of up our game with equipment. So we have been looking out um, to buy a PA system and a mixer and things like that. We haven't got a lot of money, you know, we're not a sort of profit making business. We don't get paid for gigs. We've only really done the first one, which was down in the Gower Heritage Center. If you haven't watched that video, it is a really good gig for a first gig, but we used all of their equipment. There was a PA and things there. Anyway, going back to the long but short story, you know what I mean. Um, we've been gifted a PA. It's a very, very good long friend of mine. It's a PA I know very, very well because I used to play in an electric string group called Dragon Strings. Um, and that sort of split up quite a while ago. So we are now using 
all the equipment from that. Well, anyway, we used it last night for the first time in this wedding gig. My word, I'd forgotten what it's like lumping equipment about. But, you know, it is a brilliant PA um, and took a little while to set up, especially as it was our first time. I'd spent hours checking every single cable in the afternoon, had a fair idea in my mind how we were going to plug it in. Um, but we did get there in the end. I think the sound was OK. I didn't film the actual concert or the gig rather purely it was a wedding it was a private event I didn't want to intrude in that but obviously you've just seen the footage of us unloading it and setting it up so I'm pretty sure you're going to see a lot more of that equipment in the future um, and you will definitely be seeing it in something I'm going to mention in a moment before I forget, show us your ukes. Please, please, please. I'll leave a link in the description below to a video on how to do it. It's simple, all right? I'm running low on entries at the minute. So if you want your ukuleles featured, have a look at that and get them to me ASAP. So tying all of this in together, the Ukamaniacs, we have got another gig coming up very soon. And we are the support act for Sammy Turton, aka Four String Boy. Brilliant ukulele player, awesome teacher. He's got various um, social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I think I first came across him doing something with the online stuff with the My Steg Club. Okay, so he's doing a ukulele tour around the UK and it is all involved with the various ukulele projects. We've got uh, Wales Ukulele Project, which is where the Ukamaniacs are going to be supporting him. He is in London, he's in Scotland. I'll go through the actual date, dates and details very soon, but he is a really interesting character. So who is Sammy Turton, a.k.a. Four String Boy? Um, he's from the UK originally. He now lives in Denmark. Uh, he's a teacher and performer. Um, I've just recently discovered, in fact, that he started off as a bass player. And when I saw him playing the flight mini bass quite recently uh, on one of his videos, he is a flight ambassador as well. Um, I thought, hang on, you're a bass player. You could just see straight away with what he was playing and technique. So back to his tour. As I said, I am an ambassador as well for the Wales Ukulele Project. Um, right, these are the details for the tour. As I said, it is travelling around. He's doing workshops. I know in my stake, for example, he's doing a workshop. Um, then the Ukamaniacs are playing using our new PA. Um, then he is going to do a bit of a show. And I also know there is a jam session and an open mic session as well. So please, 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 certainly if you're in Wales, come along to the My Stag one. But here we go. Here are the details for the other shows as well. So you've got 13th of October, organised by the London Ukulele Project. That one's in Twickenham. 14th of October, organised by the South East ukulele project that one is in windsor so the 16th of october um wales ukulele project also known as sean keddy that is in my steg featuring the ukamaniacs but obviously four string boy sammy is going to be there doing a workshop and a concert the 18th that's east midlands ukulele project in belba and the 19th is final one of the tour up in Scotland, and so therefore that is the Scottish ukulele project in Glasgow 19th. All the details, the actual times, the workshops, the venues are available on Facebook and the various ukulele project websites. Um, if you can get to one of them, please do. It's a brilliant project, you know, trying to help um, combat loneliness as an educational tool as well. All right. And Sammy, as I said, is a brilliant player and a really, really nice guy. So if you can support that, that will be fab. Let's have a little chat about practicing your ukulele. I often get asked the question, how much should I practice my uke? Um, every single person 
is different. Now, if I'm teaching a pupil in school, it's probably going to be a very different answer to somebody who, as an adult, has picked it up, or even a late teenager, uh, or even somebody who's retired, all right? So these are just a couple of little pointers that I've learnt over many, many years from when I was going right the way back, learning as a child, as a student, at music college, um, and as a teacher, as an adult, and now as somebody who has started playing ukulele as an older adult. I think the most important thing is it has to be fun. It doesn't matter really what instrument you're playing, but with a ukulele, it's got to be fun. So practice little and often to start, okay? Um, if it starts to hurt, whether your finger's getting sore or you've been strumming too much and you're getting sore, stop, all right? The worst thing you can do um, is to start to dislike playing because you've got sore fingers. If you go to a ukulele group once, twice, maybe even more times a week, every time you play your ukulele, you're practicing. Now, I'm not going to talk about how to practice today, to, to do effective practicing. That's a whole new video in itself. And I've also done a video already on how to practice a specific point. But this is more to do with how much practice you should be doing. And the honest answer is there really is no correct answer. All right, if you're retired and you're fit and healthy and you are happy playing the uke for a few hours a day, absolutely fantastic if you were young and you're just starting out and those fingers you know might be a little bit tender keep it short keep it simple but do it often all right and don't beat yourself up don't get frustrated if you can't get something straight away something i really have always tried to get my pupils to do is um don't put instruments in cases if you've got an instrument you can quickly grab you are far more likely to grab it all right and just play it for a little while and the next thing you know you've been practicing playing for half an hour or so as i said practicing and playing in this conversation is the same thing i'll talk about effective practicing another day hang on <coughs> So, one minute I'm talking to you, the next minute I've got a ukulele in my hand because I've got a few just laying back there. Um, but I've normally got a ukulele laying on the sofa next to where I sit at the computer in our living room. Um, <clears throat> I have got a ukulele hanging by the side of the bed. My husband eventually said yes, okay? But if you've got a uke, it doesn't matter if you've only got one, if it's accessible, you are far more likely to just pick it up. You might... Um, be by yourself in a room and you just quietly okay playing away noodling as lots of people call it nothing wrong with that at all um, I'm normally either sat in front of a computer screen or have a ukulele in my hand I very rarely sit and watch tv and even then I find myself with a little ukulele just having a little strum all right Nothing wrong with that. Although, if you're a noodler, in other words, you're just pl playing constantly, don't do it when you're in a ukulele group. There is nothing more frustrating than having two or three people constantly... All right, playing away when you're trying to explain something to the group. Practice and play it for fun. One of my most favourite ways of practising, especially when I first started, was using the play-along videos. Hence why I made play-along videos. Um... You can do that by yourself. You can do it in a big group, right? If you're not a very confident singer and you're just starting out, playing along with something is an awesome way of just playing, practicing, and that builds up muscle memory, not just with your strums, but also with your chords. The more you play, the better your muscle memory, and therefore the better player you're going to be. It's individual for everybody. I say to the pupils in school, little and often, especially as a beginner, it takes a little bit of time to build up, you know, finger strength, muscle memory, um, theory, all of that kind of thing, all right? So little and often is good. If you can manage to play for hours at a time, awesome, I wish I could. Um, that's another thing, is finding the time. If you can't manage it, Again, don't give yourself a hard time over it. Don't beat yourself up if you can't get something straight away. Um, when I was in music college, my teacher would come in and go, why have you got holes in the book? And it was normally because I'd 
bash the book with my bow in a state of frustration. Walk away from it, all right? Playing is a form of practice. That will help build up the muscle memory and the strength in your hands. Um, and playing in a group, okay? Just because you're playing in a youth group doesn't mean you're not practicing, all right? Musicality, God, I could hardly say that. Musicality, um, you get from playing in a group, all right? So it's all down to individuals, how much you practice, when you should practice. Keep a ukulele or several laying around. You're far more likely just to pick it up and play it. Um, and don't beat yourself up if you can't get something straight away. I just wanted to have a quick chat about it today because I've just started the new ukuleleans group in school. I think I had about 35 or 40 year seven pupils last week and straight away, miss, how, sh how much should I practice? So I thought, oh, I'll be a good uh, little topic to cover today. So that's Rachel's Rambles, number 13, done. I'm sorry it's been a little while. This has literally been the first time I've had a chance to sit down. Um, so lots have happened, lots about to happen. A few new ukuleles, ukumaniacs ongoing, new equipment for that as well. Um, and our first big support gig for Sammy Turton aka string four string boy uh, next month in a couple of weeks UK tour. As always though if you've got a comment or a question please feel free leave it below give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.